It was a hellish scene inside one of Christianity's most important cathedrals. Burning cinders rained down on the centre of the cathedral. Such was the danger from falling debris that a robot firefighter was used. Notre Dame's legendary gargoyles overflowed as thousands of litres of water was pumped onto the flames. More than 800 years of history had taken just eight hours to go up in flames. The altar, what's left of it, is now exposed to the heavens. Such is the importance of Notre Dame to the French that the president addressed the nation. What we saw last night in Paris is this ability to mobilize, unite and win. During our history, we've built cities, ports, churches, Many have been burned or have been destroyed by wars, revolutions, by our own fault. Each time we rebuilt them, the fire of Our Lady reminds us that our history never stops and that we will always have tests to overcome. Notre Dame had been undergoing renovation when it became engulfed in flames. More than 200,000 kilos of lead and thousands of medieval oak beams in the roof caught fire easily and fast. 400-year-old paintings hanging high in the cathedral have been damaged, but firefighters and staff formed a human chain to save other artefacts. Thrones, golden candelabras, gem-encrusted crucifixes and other relics will be transferred to the Louvre Museum for storage. But this United Nations World Heritage Site will need to go through a careful, lengthy and expensive restoration process. It's uh, really a site which is uh, dear to not all Parisians, but it's the whole of France, but also the, the whole of humanity. Uh, because it's a symbol, not only for the Christian world, it's a symbol for the universality of this architectural language. It's so unique in the world, there's only one Notre Dame. Before the fire broke out, the Catholic Church was asking for around $170 million to fund restoration work. The state had offered about $45 million. Now money is being pledged from across the world, but it'll cost many hundreds of millions of dollars more to restore Notre Dame to its former glory. 24 hours after the fire and there is still a sense of shock. I felt a lot of emotions last night with my children as we were watching TV. So here I am now. I'm sad, but at the same time, very happy to see the French people united. We needed that. I'm a Catholic, but even if you're not, it's part of your life. It's unimaginable. It disfigures Paris. As people prayed and marched through the streets near Notre Dame, messages of support came from other faiths. France's chief rabbi offered friendship and support. The French Council of the Muslim Faith called for donations to help restore what it called the heart of the history of France. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Paris.